is up guys have a uh, another tutorial for you get I uh, hope you guys like the intro right there um, been trying to get one just randomly found one online so uh, hope you liked it um, little cinema 4d right here gonna be showing you some basic rendering and uh, how you can make your own c4d um, first off uh, to make a c4d you need basic shapes so I'm just gonna choose a pyramid Increase the segmix, segments to about a hundred, so it's a uh, nice and big to use. Now you're just going to go to one of your properties, and let's say uh, I wanted to twist it, drag the twist into the pyramid, and now since you have this box right outside, you just simply will twist it, and it will twist the shape with it. Now you can do many things with that, obviously. Um, you can do unlimited so if I wanted to you can drag outside the box just do whatever you want with it so I can move this around now as well and then so again you have basically unlimited possibilities you can choose I'm just gonna duplicate this real quick by control C I'm going to rotate it and now switch my views over to third or yeah this one right here now I'm just gonna try and match it up with this one over here so rotate it till you can oh. round right there move it up and zoom out and now that looks perfectly matched almost so now I'm gonna exit out of that and now if we rotate this or not zoom wow oh there we go look at it you have like a nice little S or if I zoom out and just now move this you can see you have a nice like little 3D S right there that you can change into whatever shape you want so now that you got that um, to render or do whatever but first I'm gonna add some color in here so load up some materials a nice uh, uh, palettes or whatever materials that I use that uh, help me out so I'm just gonna put in a little red for both of these a pearl red yeah. And uh, and just move it around, see where you want it to render. I'm gonna keep it right there. Now I'm gonna add some lights in. So add a plain light going straight up. I'm gonna move it a little off to the side right here, and then bring the intensity down a little bit and put a soft shadow on it. And then now just do a quick render. Oh, wrong one. You can just press Control R. It should do a nice little quick render for you. So that looks good. Now, if you wanted to use that actually and uh, have it as a blank palette, you're gonna, of course, choose what you want your dimensions to be. I'm just gonna go a little bigger by going to about 800 by 800. Um, resolution is fine you can hit save make sure this is where you go click alpha channel and make sure it's a PNG and I'll just save wherever you want so I'll just save to my pictures and I'll just type in S because it's an S obviously multi-passing anti-aliasing I choose best with sync options take off auto light go to ray threshold and scroll up to 5, 20, 10, 20. Just increasing those by 5. Now you simply just hit render or wait. Stop calculating image and uh, reposition if you need to. And now you render. And so now you should, when uh, it is finished, you should have a nice uh, own image that you have created yourself and uh, that will be it I'll uh, have a link for the final image result if you wanted to use it 
and tell me what you think again of the intro and if you have any ideas for next week just let me know